we start with controllability in state space that is part 2. Last time we have seen state controllability that we have seen that the states which are at initial time that need to be transferred and all state if it is transferred then that is called state controllability. Then this, there is another word or another terminology that is called output controllability. Now, what is the meaning of this output controllability? In practice, we need to control the output rather than the state of the system. If you consider a classical system, we have output and input, finally output has to control. So, therefore, along with the state controllability, we have to control the output of the system. The complete state controllability is independent of output of the system. Therefore, there is need to check the output controllability separately. Now, what is the logic behind it? Last time, I, I have given you one example about the, the students who are going from one place to another. Last time, we have seen that an industrial trip is going from uh, some place just like IIT Rudki and, and they are going to some Adelie and there are 10 students are going assuming that 10 students and now we are we considering that these 10 students are the states of the system and uh, all these states has been started at some time and they have reached to Delhi let us say x 1, x 2, x 10. So, these states have been reached and we have seen that if any of the states has been missed that is any of the student has been missed from this place let us say this is x 9, this has been missed then we have seen that this that particular system is not controllable. No, but, uh, but assume that the all states are here, they have been reached here, all students at IIT Rudki that started from here, they have reached to Delhi, then why there is need for output controllability? It is because the students have come here to Delhi for some industrial trip. Assume that all the students have been reached, but let us say the company has denied to enter because, because the output in this system is to reach to the industry, but to certain, certain reason it is not possible that means that even though your state has been reached here, but you are not getting the output, output therefore there is a need to have output controllability also that output also to be controlled. So, but how to test it in a mathematical aspects? Last time we have seen if you want to check the controllability of the system, we have written the controllability matrix as Q equal to B A B just like that A raised to n minus 1 B and we are checking the determinant or rank of this matrix. If rank is full, the system is controllable. And in this case, in case of controllability, we have seen there is no C matrix has been involved. But this is the output controllability, it means that something that means C matrix which is important output that must be involved because that is concerned with the output. Therefore, the test which is required to check the controllability is represented as, as shown here. Let us say x dot and y, this is our system, state space system and we are talking about the output controllability. So, what is said? The above system is output controllable if it is possible to construct an unconstrained control signal u of t that will transfer from given initial output y of t 0 to any final output y of t f in a finite time interval. Here we are talking about the state at initial time then is to final time, but in the output controllability is concerned with the output at initial time and what is the final time as we have seen that 
here we are output we are concerned with to reach the industry or some practical problem occurred output is not possible. So, either the state has been rich, but we are not getting the output. So, that means that output is not controllable therefore, output controllability is, is also very important tool whenever we are studying the control in all aspect in terms of stability modeling in, in terms of controller design. Now, how to check the output controllability? Now, this is a plant. The above system is output controllable if and only if the composite matrix Q. Now, this is Q, this output controllable matrix and we have to write in this form C B, C B, C A, N minus 1 B, this, this. So, we have to determine the rank of this matrix, the rank of this matrix must be M. So, M is you see C order of C is M cross M. So, this particular M. So, order of this is must be M. Similarly, if D is not equal to 0, that means when D is existing, that means our output controllable matrix we have to write in terms of C B, C B, C A square B, C A N minus 1 B, and this D part is will come. Whereas, in D 0, this D is not present. And for all this case, your rank must be M. Now, we will try to solve an example and we will see that that particular system is output controllable or not. Okay. The state controllability is also we can write in this way, the state controllability is different from output controllability. For controlling the output of the system, the complete state controllability is neither necessary nor, sufficient, nor sufficient. That means, both the output controllability or state controllability are independent, but as I told for complete analysis of the system, we need to check both state controllability as well as the output controllability, because, because our practical sense we have a output therefore, output is very important. Okay. Now, we start with an example, an example is of second order system. And for the system, we like we will check the controllability output controllability of the system. And for this example, we have already seen how to check the state controllability. Now, just see it. Say x1 dot x2 dot say 1 1 minus 2 minus 3 say x 1 x 2 say 0 1 two. now this is a state space system but in this case this is a state equations and if you want to check the controllability of the system this is a and this is b we can easily check the controllability by taking q c b a into b. But now, here we required output controllability and when as I told you output controllability means that output c matrix plays an important role. Therefore, for this problem we should also know the output equation. Therefore, the output for this say 1 0 x 1 x 2. So, this now it is a b and c has been defined. Now, just see the formula for output controllability. The output controllability is c b c a b c a raise to n minus 1 b. Now, in this particular problem you have n is 2 therefore, a order of a will be 1 that for we have to take C B and C A B. Now, Q output controllable this is given as C B and C A B. Now, now we will determine C B as well as C A B. Now, just see C B 
what is the C matrix? C matrix is 1 0 and what is B matrix? The B matrix is 0 1. Now, after solving 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 1, 0, so now C B is 0. Now, coming to C A B, C A P, so C is 1, 0 and A is 1, 1, minus 2, minus 3, and B is 0 1. Now, we have to solve this equation. Now, here 1 multiplied by 0, 0, 1 multiplied by, by 1 we will get 1. So, we can write down this as 1 and here minus 2 multiplied by 0, 0, minus 3 multiplied by 1 we will get minus 3. And after solving this 1 multiplied by 1 and 0 multiplied by minus 3, so we will get 1 and therefore, this Q matrix that is O C that is output controller matrix that is O is output C is controllable. We can write down as 0 1 and from this we will find that the rank of this rank this is equals to m that is equals to 1 because of 0 it becomes 1. So, rank is 1 and what is m here m is also 1 that is a row we can say 1. So, therefore, it is satisfied our conditions that is this condition as we discussed these conditions of rank m is satisfied in this particular example therefore, this system is output controllable. Therefore, if you are given any system and we have to design a controller, the controller can be designed only when system should have this particular properties. If system does not have a output controllability as well as the state controllability, then it is difficult to design a controller. But sometime in a practical systems and uh, system involves so many state and uh, we have to design a controller. So, in from practical point of view we should have some uh, more flexibility in the designing of the controller. Therefore, in a control there is one concept is present that concept is called stabilizability. This is also a very important concept from control point of view and this concept is also related to our controllability. Now, how it is related? See here, stabilizability is a weaker notion of controllability that is controllability is there this is a weaker part that is partially controllable we can say that is stability means we can say partially controllable system. that is not a fully, but partially controllable system. See here partially controllable system it is defined as the uncontrollable modes are stable and unstable modes are controllable that is called stabilizability. Now, how we think about this stability concept? Again we come to the, the example which you are taking earlier that is here there are 10 states or we can say there are 10 students here they are going to Delhi from Rurki. Now, here this is IIT Rurki and it is Delhi and the students are going for some industrial trip at Delhi and therefore, there are states again x 1, x 2, x 10 and we have seen that if all states which are at IIT Rurki, all students which are with there at IIT Rurki, when they reach to Delhi, we have observed let us say all 10 states or 10 students are available or we have observed or we can say uh, they are present there, 
though we are saying that your system is state controllable, but any of the state is missing we are saying that it is not a controllable system. But as student has reached to Delhi and as a teacher I have to take to the industry for industry, but I observe that one is missing the state is missing then can I as I told earlier that when any of the student has been missed in that industrial tour, it, it is difficult for a teacher to, con to carry out the student for industry that means, he has to come back and he has to see where is this. So, if the similar situation happened, if any of one of the student has been missed in that industrial trip, so what is the best option? I will see where is that student. Suppose I got information that student which has been reached to Delhi for industrial trip, trip but at the same time he has left to some of his relatives. If that information I got and I talked to him that okay, he is there, but he told me that because of some health problem he is not coming to this one. That means, I have got idea that the student even though reached the jelly, but it is not observing, observing therefore, but he is somehow stable. Then what I can do out of this 10, I will take 9 students to the industry knowing that one is not there, not there, he is in relative's house, his health is not good. So, in such case, we can say that system is in stabilizable mode or this is called a weaker notion of controllability or we can say partially controllable system. Now, we see this part through an example, see here this is x 1 dot x 2 dot. Now, here 2 0 0 minus 2 say x 1 x 2 1 0 into u. Now, this is our system x 1 dot a x plus b u. And now we are talking about the stabilizability, and as I discussed, that stabilizability is nothing but a weaker notion of the uh, controllability. As looking after this system 2, 0, 0 minus 2, and here we got 1, 0, and this part is coming in a Gilbert test. And in the Gilbert test, if you have seen that, if the given system, if it is in diagonal form, or particular A matrix in the diagonal form, we have to see the B matrix. And if any of the element in this B matrix, this is B matrix, this is A, if any of the element in this B matrix is 0, then system is not controllable, that part we have seen and this is Gilbert test. Just looking after the example, we observe that this system is not controllable. But now, I have to work on the system. So, just looking after the system, we observe that see here this is 2. This 2 is a unstable system because if you take the stability of the system, you will find that the eigen value is at lambda 1 equals to 2 and lambda 2 equals to say minus 2. So, here the system is unstable system. Out of this, we find that the 2 indicate the unstable part of the system, but that unstable part is there. If you see the 1, that is a controllable, that is unstable part is there, but it is controllable. But if you see the, this, this is a minus 2, which is a stable part, this is a stable part, but 0 is a uncontrollable part. That is, if the system having this type of property, that is this unstable part is controllable and stable mode is uncontrollable. If this is the situation, then this is called stabilizability of the system. As we discuss, it defined as uncontrollable modes are stable and unstable modes are controllable. So, here we have seen the same part, this is the unstable mode, it is controllable where stable mode is uncontrollable. So, this is called stabilizability of the system. Now, coming to the another issue that is called pole 0 cancellation. Actually, pole 0 cancellation 
this is the part which is concerned with the say transfer function because when because transfer function involves poles at 0, but at the state space there is no such issues we are x dot equals to a x plus b u we got a b c d matrix. So, the concept of pole 0 is also related to this controllability and observability issues this is because even though system it is in a transfer function we are converted into a state space. Suppose if you have a system which is uh, given in a transfer function domain and if there is a pole 0 cancellations. So, just cancelling a pole 0 here can we say that system is not controllable. So, here the system is not controllable. So, but uh, if I am we are saying system is not controllable what is the reason behind it can we prove it. So, here our philosophy is associated with the pole 0 cancellation. So, it is say that necessary and sufficient condition for complete state controllability is that no cancellation occur in the transfer function. That is if you take any transfer function if there is any cancellation of poles and 0 system cannot be controllable according to the theory. That is if you take say s plus 1 s plus 1 and s plus 2 if this is a plant actually mathematically we are cancelling this and we can say s plus 2. So, mathematically s plus 1 s plus 1 we cancel we got s plus 2 everything is stable that means that this that is system is stable controllable everything we can observe that means mathematically this is true, but from control point of view this is not true it again if we can say that this is this although the mathematics is important in the control system, but from practical point of view or for control point of view every concept of mathematics cannot be applicable directly for the control system analysis. Here this is the same issue s yes plus 1 s yes plus 1 we cancel 1 plus s yes plus 2 and the more severe condition will come when we can say s yes minus 1 here s yes minus 1 s plus 2. So, this is the system we cancel here 1 upon s plus 2. So, this system is stable, but this cancellations cancellations cause problem to the controllability of the system even the stability of the system. In earlier part we have already seen say s minus 1 s minus 1 say s plus 2 this is say g of s. Now, if you solve it we will get get s minus 1 s square plus s minus 2. Now, from mathematical point of view if you talk about mathematical point of view this s minus 1 s minus 1 cancel <coughs> will get s plus 2 and we can say that system is stable. And same thing if you are taking care of state space analysis if you develop the model of this plant in a state space this x dot equal to a x means here 0 1 2 minus 1 x plus 0 1 into u and y equals to minus 1 1 x. So, the same plant if you have not done any pole 0 cancellations we get s minus 1 s square plus s minus 2 now here 0 1 1 minus 2 2 minus 1 and if you check the stability of this model a. So, we will find that there is also one eigen value on the right hand side. So, let us say uh, at 1 and here is minus 2 and now this is unstable. So, you find that if you do the pole 0 cancellation the original system we found stable, but actually it becomes unstable. So, there is instability issue, but similarly there is also issue with the controllability of the system. If there is a pole 0 cancellation we say that the system is not a controllable. Now, we see an another example suppose if you write 
phi s by u of s equal to s plus 2.5 s plus 2.5 s minus 1. Now, this is a plant and what we are saying that this is s plus 2.5 s plus 2.5 s minus 1. So, this s plus 2.5 and this we can cancel easily and we will get s 1 upon s minus 1. So, now according to the concept we are as I discussed the system is not controllable, but can it really true to check it what we do we can use our conventional approach. For the conventional approach what we can do here we solve this equation s yes plus 2.5 divided by s square plus 1.5 s minus 2.5. So, after solving this we got this here we have cancelled 1 by s minus 1 and uh, mathematically we have done like this and uh, now we are talking about the controllability concept without any pole zero cancellation whatever system we have keep as it is. Now, what we can do now we determine a state space model of the system. The state space model of the system is say x dot equal to a x plus b u. Now, the a matrix in this case is 0 1 2.5 minus 1.5 and if you see the B matrix, B matrix is 0 1 and the C matrix 2.5 and 1. So, this is a controllable canonical form or we call as a companion form of matrix. Now, we try to check the controllability of this system. Now, we have to check the controllability of the system. Now, for taking checking the controllability, what we will do? We will write this as B A B matrix, and if you do it, so what we will get? Your B is 0, 1, and this A B matrix, if you multiply, you will get here 1 minus 1.5. And if you calculate the determinant of this, if you take the determinant of this, what we will take? We will get okay, minus 1 is not equal to 0. So, minus 1 is not equal to 0, that means that your system is not control uh, is controllable. So, as we discussed earlier, that uh, our this system is, uh, is uncontrollable because there is a poor 0 cancellations. Now, the thing is that this we have done in case of the controllable canonical form or companion form and we say that in this particular form this a b and a b it does not depend upon this matrix matrix s plus 2.5. So, whatever may be any elements in the numerator is not affected by b and a b particularly if you write the given system in this controllable canonical form. Therefore, if you want to check the controllability when there is a pole zero cancellation, I think we have to involve the elements of C matrix that is elements of C matrix because C actually doing the pole zero cancellations. Therefore, we have to do or make arrangements such that in the elements of B there must be the elements of C. So, this is possible if you convert this system into the control uh, observable form that is uh, uh, control a observable canonical form. So, observable canonical form means this A changes to A transpose and this C, C transpose equals to B that means here I am writing down here this side. This A matrix now here actual A matrix become A transpose 
this A transpose is 0, 2.5, 1 minus 1 1.5 and here this B matrix. So, that means here this A transpose is nothing but A matrix observable form OBS and again here B observable equal to C transpose equal to 2.5 1 and now here if you solve it B observable A observable to B observable matrix. So, you find that this B observable. So, B observable matrix is 2.5 1 and now A observable is like this and if you multiply by B observable here we will find that it also become this multiplication of this A observable this and B observable this if you multiply it we will also get 2.5 1 and if you take the determinant of this equals to 2.5 minus 2.5 equal to 0. Now, you will find that this system is not controllable that is a polar cancellation we are directly reflected through the, the mathematical approaches of checking the controllability of the system. Therefore, whenever any system is given to you for designing of the controller then in that case if there is a polar cancellations we cannot design a controller. That means, if you are given system in a transfer function model and if the pole zero cancellations, the no need to design a controller that uh, means uh, system is controllable that means that particular state cannot be contro controllable that means that there is no need to go for the controller design. Now, these are some uh, references. Now, this is the part uh, concerned with the controllability of the system. But uh, in a control application along with controllability we need to know the observability of the system and what is the observability, how it is, it is useful in a say space analysis particularly control design that we will see later on. Thank you.